Preoperative care can be remembered by the operation character waiting around anxiously before going into surgery. Pre-op education begins with the surgeon explaining the surgical procedure. The patient may be instructed to be NPO, or nil per os, shown by the NPO zipper mouth, which indicates that the patient is to not ingest anything by mouth, such as eating or drinking, before surgery. To prevent respiratory problems, the patient will be educated about the importance of turn, cough, and deep breathe exercises, as well as using the incentive spirometer, shown by the turn coffee, deep breathe with incentive spirometer in hand. The same is true for preventing DVTs by teaching the patient to perform lower extremity exercises, shown by the lower leg exercises being performed, and to wear compression stockings or SCDs, the stocking and SCD being worn. Pain management, shown by the pain pill hero, can be explained so that the patient knows what to expect and how to treat the pain following surgery. Safety begins by the surgeon obtaining an informed consent, the informed consent signature being handed over. Physical preparation may include obtaining vitals, giving IV fluids, or emptying the bladder, and is shown here as the man being physically prepared for surgery. The pre-op checklist, shown literally here, ensures items are completed, such as giving medications, safeguarding valuables, and ensuring allergies have been documented. The handoff to surgery, shown by handing over the patient's chart to the surgeon staff member, serves as a standard communication process to ensure safety. Lastly, universal precautions, shown by the universe calling time out, were established to prevent wrong site and wrong procedure surgeries from occurring. A timeout should be done to identify the right patient, right surgery, and right site is being carried out. So, let's review. Pre-op education encompasses the surgical procedure being explained, establishing MPO status, teaching about deep breathing techniques, lower extremity exercises, and the importance of compression stockings or SCDs. Discuss pain management options, ensure the informed consent has been signed, and provide physical preparation. Complete the pre-op checklist, ensure proper handoff to surgery, and follow universal precautions. Remember preoperative care as the character from the game of operation who's anxious about going into the operation room. And when the surgeon comes over to explain the surgical procedure, it doesn't exactly settle his nerves, and he whimpers. But an NPO zipper mouth tells him to zip it and pay attention. The surgeon says he's going to wake up from surgery, and the first thing he'll want to do is turn, cough, take a deep breath through the incentive spirometer, and remove the spirometer while he holds his breath for three seconds, then breathes out slowly. And he'll want to keep doing this at least ten times every two hours. Otherwise, warns the surgeon, his lungs will basically collapse and die. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our perioperative care Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from aseptic technique, preoperative care, postoperative care, postoperative fever, and so much more so you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.